All right, we're gonna do this again. Now I got clapped up twice in the sealed cave, which tells you everything you need to know about the sealed cave. It can be an actual challenge. But anyway, now that we have the key, it's time to get started with this bad boy. What makes this a difficult stage is that you have to be, or difficult dungeon, is that you have to be very quick with defeating a specific enemy in this game. Well, he won't appear as a random battle, so that's good. But anyway. Eaters. It would have been smarter for me to wait in the dungeon and, I mean, outside in the world map and to basically use a tent. But that's not what I'm doing right now. I want to get started with this. Now you already know, I love me some Vamp Lady. In general, I enjoy the design of the monsters in this game a lot more than the design of the playable characters. Usually because they're more, hmm, they, they look better. These characters just look like midgets. But you see, already, someone is dead. You gotta be careful here. <laughs> that actually came to my favor a little bit. The virus is a good spell to use here because in terms of damage, it's a little random, but it can be very effective. And either way, whether it hurts a lot or it only hurts a little. Huge naga. I thought it said huge nigga. It's kind of... I can appreciate that humorously, but whether it hurts a lot or it hurts little, the status effect will still be very relevant in terms of taking out their health or even killing them. That's happened plenty of times. I'll use items to heal in this stage because here it's more advantageous for your resurrectors, your healers to be resurrectors. Except for Cecil since he doesn't really have any life spells for some reason. I don't know. I guess paladins are pretty bare bone as as healers but Rosa her role is definitely going to be that of a resurrector a life bringer Oh shit, I forgot to bring his ass back, but then again, it's not too big of a deal with this guy. We you need to kill him as quickly as possible, otherwise he'll summon a monster, and that's 
never good. Keep doing jump, keep doing virus, and that'll basically ensure a quick victory. And you need a quick victory with this guy, because you never know what kind of monster you'll get facing him, and if it's someone that can kill you, and you're pretty banged up because of previous fights, or the fight you were in there, maybe the encounter with the trapdoor was you know, too much for you, too many of your guys died, and then you're basically screwed. No doubt about it. Shit. Oh, and I forgot. Now Edge is gonna be a threat because he has the long sword. I think that's funny. Edge is supposed to be this ninja, and yet he's using Western styled blades. Oh, a short sword. I don't know what the hell a medium sword is supposed to be, and a long sword. Yeah, I'll bring her ass back with fucking Cecil since he doesn't really hit that hard. Although, really, I shouldn't have to. But again, look at that. They will level us up. And I'll alternate with Cecil doing the healing. Although his white magic isn't nearly as potent, but we've been through this road before. So you already know. Hmm, those trap doors aren't that good. I don't think there are any good items there. So if you want the EXP, you can go to those two trap doors and fight them. I want to fight. I want to fight some more, so... And we didn't lose cash, but... Name me one time where you've escaped a battle and then you became broke in this game. That doesn't really happen. We're doing so good so far with this fight. Okay, now what's this guy gonna do? I'm not even gonna try to read his movements. Because he wants to hustle me by...
trying to make me wait this shit out. And now I'll heal Cecil with my items. So it's like I still have two healers, even though I'm only using one of them as a healer. I'm saving the other person up, frugally I might add, as a resurrector. Let me spend one ether on Rydia so that I still have virus on deck. Don't even bother going through those doors. Those are just to, like to fool you. They have nothing there. Nothing of value that is. And my resurrector is clapped up and trapped up, so that sucks. Oh, come on. See, that can be a little cruel. I don't like that shit. I mean, I, I was doing a pretty good job. Even though... It's breaking my strategy ethics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal these guys with Rosa. What's the point of having her not heal when her magic is just so potent? I say it like it's a drug or something, but no. Seriously. Be sure to get this shit. What's this rope right here? That was a little silly, I like that. Again, vamp ladies, lamias, harpies, even though that's breath fire two shit right there. Those are the things I like. Kane's a powerful guy. Don't you ever get that fucked up. I think the only Super NES chick from Final Fantasy games that I liked were... Lena from Final Fantasy V, uh, the purple-haired chick, her sprite.
He was a sprite of an attractive chick. And... I think Terra, but not in the SNES games, in the Nintendo 64 technical demo. Yeah, Terra looked wavy in that, like, bondage gear shit. I don't even feel bad for admitting that. I should have. It's the truth. Let me prepare myself for this one. Because you never know which one could be the one that will clap your shit up. That's all the preparations I need. This one leads to nowhere, by the way. We need Kane. I just hope I can kill that thing before it decides that it wants to become a new monster that wants to open the door to Hades or something. Oh, come on, that, that shit is cheap. I don't like that. Come on. Finish this guy off. Add a girl. Yeah, Cecil's been getting deprived of EXP. That sucks. Oh wait, that was that was Kane actually this time, so never mind that I just said that. Oh, really now? I need... I need fucking... <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll use Rosa. There, now I'm good. Let me, hold on. And yeah, this was the dead end, so. It's the internet, and I'm a jaded person, so of course I, I'll find the screamer. Of course, I'm not on the internet right now, but I'm making this for the internet. So here, here's your screamer. Are you... Did you jump from your seat yet? Yeah, it can be a little corny at times. There. Cecil, you don't have to announce that to us. We already know.
Jumpsuit, you have to deal with that shit. Yo, Rydia is our key to winning this thing, so I don't like that you keep killing her. Of course, based on why, what I just said, I can see why you would keep doing it, but still. No one gained a level from that. <laughs> okay, you get cool points for your name alone. Okay, bring my boy Cecil back to life. Huge Naga. I will always laugh at that name. More so than his character design. Okay, uh, I'll change poison arrows for... I'll change him for that. So why do you need the legend sword? I'm curious about that. Again, I do not want to hear the music in this game. The soundtrack is really good, but as I've said before, it's really repetitive, so... Whenever I start hearing music from my headphones, I'm thinking, please, broken headphones, stay broken. It's okay. My guys are getting stronger and stronger. Anyone in need of this? I guess not. Okay, we out here. Am I really ready for this? Just in case, like my name is Justin Case. All right. Last time he turned into a very difficult enemy. I don't I'm not sure if I will be able to last against him under such conditions.
All right, let's get it. Good, I was quick about that. Last time I got fucked up because I forgot to give my guys some like, healing items. I mean, to give them MP. And he turned into this absurdly difficult enemy that didn't seem to have any weaknesses. Despite having a visible elemental affiliation. Damn, that's a lot of money. I'm glad. Now I will consult the guide. I will consult the guide because... <sighs> okay, I may skip the one here and fight this one. Let's see how prepared I am. Throw a shuriken. Now don't fuck around the menus li like I did. That'll ensure death. Oh no. Oh well, at least it's this guy. Hopefully, oh, she got burned. That sucks. And so, and thus ends this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 4. This has been Mr. Wonka 7. Hope you enjoyed me getting fucked up, up and down and around this psychotic ass, merciless dungeon, and suck my dick. See you next episode.